Carly, well, a new year means plenty of new shows to watch. Yep, and this morning, our friend, friend of the show, Evany Bing, is here to tell us what we should be tuning into in 2022. Good morning, Evany. Good morning. I can't believe we're already saying it's 2022. I here know. we are. Yeah, I know. I know. In. All right, so I have some shows. You know, I, I still use my DVR. Do you DVRs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not as much as I used to, but yeah. for sure, yeah. Okay, well, I have some now shows. With Netflix, you don't have to DVR. You can watch I it anytime know. you want. I'm old school, though, so I still DVR. <laughs> I'm getting into streaming right now, but I have some shows for you to fill your DVR up and then also stream. So okay. I have the first show, which is here on Fox 4. It debuted on Sunday. Gordon Ramsay, he's back with Next Level Chef. And this is actually a contest where 15 contestants from various backgrounds, like they have Instagram cooking stars and professional chefs, oh, okay. but they battle it out for a $250,000 prize Ooh. and also a 12 month membership with Ramsay and then the two other chefs that are, chefs that are featured on the show, which are Naisha Arrington and also Richard Blaise and the contestants. They're put in three different levels. If you watch the show, there's like the high room, the middle one, and then the basement. So when you're up on top, you have like all the tools and accessories that you might right. need. And then the basement has like the worst stuff. So, but um, yeah, you it's would pretty think, cool. Because the people want to get out of the basement, right? And move up. Yes, yes. So, so they need all the tools. You should give more tools to the people in the basement know, and fewer tools to the people at the top. That is true. But they're test. you know, it's yeah. all about testing. And also okay. we have a Kansas City tie to Chef Pete. She's actually Ooh. one of my close friends. Oh. She is actually on the show. So I'm rooting nice. her on. So super Good. exciting. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Chef Pete. Chef Right. Pete, root her on. And so next up on the list is Bel Air. It premieres February the 13th, right before Valentine's Day. And it's actually going to be streamed, so it's one of those you have to find the app and stream it. Okay. But this is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but with a more dramatic twist to it. So this is Will's journey from West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground, all the way to Bel Air. And so you see how he acts with Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv and Carlton. Okay. But like what I said, it's more dramatic. So we'll be getting deeper into the um, the episodes. And then also a Kansas City tie again. The show's director, co-writer, and executive producer is Kansas City native Morgan Cooper. Yeah, we've had him on our show. Yeah, I remember you this. also talking about him uh, earlier when this was coming out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, fine so. to see it. Uh, ready to go on the screen. Yes, yep. and so, okay, next on the list, we're very familiar with this family, <laughs> Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They're the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, this, I thought uh, they were finished. I did too, but this trailer dropped on New Year's, so, you know, just when we thought we were gonna say goodbye to the family after 14 years of keeping up with them, plot twist, we are still gonna keep up with the Kardashians. Oh. Like what I said, it dropped on New Year, and it's coming to Hulu, so they don't know the exact date when it's going to be premiering, but just know that they are filming. And there's a lot of content out there, you know, with Kim dating Pete and right, Courtney right. getting engaged and Tristan Thompson yeah. and Chloe and that whole yeah. fiasco. So we have a lot to keep up with the Kardashians. Okay. I will admit I'm guilty. I've seen every single episode. You have? I have. Oh, They're wow. like my family members. <laughs> kind of. Are Kim and Kanye divorced or are they still married, technically? Kanye thinks he can get her back. That is That ship has sailed. Okay. And she, yeah, so, anywho. Okay. It's another story for another day. Roger that. And so last <laughs> on the least, the show that everybody has been waiting for. Ooh, it's getting racy over there. Um, the smash debut of Bridgerton happened last year, and the new release date is March the 25th on Netflix. And you know, the fans, especially my world, was rocked when they announced that Reggae Jean Page, aka the Duke of Hastings, will not be returning this season. But so what's the point of watching? Well, every season they focus on a different character. Okay. So Phoebe, she's the one who married Duke of Hastings, her brother. I don't know. I'm very bad with character names, yeah. but Phoebe's brother, he is going to be seeking his wife. Mm. So this is going to be his escapades and mm. Lady Whistledown, she sent out a tweet. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the show. <laughs> well, I'm talking I code. might be talking about the wrong guy. Who is the main character in the first? Duke of Hastings. Okay, he, so that's who's not. Yes, who's Reggae gone. Jean Page. Okay. Yes, he's very handsome. So I was, mm -hmm. Yes, but, I was going to say, that's why everybody watched. I know, I know, but I'm sure that there will still be some eye candy. So okay. you can still tune in for that. Okay. And it's also great for guys, too. Yeah. You can still well, tune in. And don't forget about the drama. Okay? Yes, there yeah. is drama. All right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Horse riding, jousting, yes. <laughs> the whole deal. The whole Thank deal. You, Thank you, guys. Always great Thank to you see so you, Evany. Thank and you. And you're co-hosting Great Day today yes, as well. Yes, I am. Me and Sean Edwards, we're going to have a good time. So make sure you guys tune in for that. I'm All excited. Right. All right. We'll be watching. Thanks, Evany. Zero to 11. Thank you. Uh, well,